Hello everyone, I am Blind Bandit and this is Art of War 3 Global Conflict. Now, Art of War is the only true RTS game for the mobile platforms. It always has been and will probably be in the future as well because let's face it, RTS is not played that much by people anymore. <laughs> it's basically like a Riddle Lord game if you played that on the PC. Where you have your soldiers, your tanks and you are building a base for yourself with your defensive structures, other buildings and you have a bunch of different units. I will be doing a tutorial series and go over pretty much every little thing in this game. And in this video we'll have a general look around the screen and look around with on the menus and what you can do in each section. For starters, let's start here from the chat. This is your general chat section where you have a bunch of different groups. First one is the main chat where you will be speaking to everybody else, both confederation and rebel players. And you have your national chat, your faction chat where you can only speak to confederation players or your resistance players whichever one you chose. You have your private chat, your clan chat, and you can also contact the game developers for support. You have your news section, and a little space here for the rules around the chat. Here you, you have your containers. These are boxes with rewards in them. You have to get these silver credits to open the boxes game does give you free ones from every now and then. For example, in the New Year's Day, you get around 3000 or something like that. So you can use them or buy these, open the containers. But it's not really critical to your gameplay, so if you don't want to spend any money on the game, that's okay. Here you have your general look on your character, your commander. Um, your name, your rank, your stars. Now, every time you fight, you'll gain stars in the game. Both offline and online matches, you will get stars and your rank will get higher and higher. Your win rates, your clan stars and influence, which I will go over in the video that I will make for the clans. You, ha you have a bunch of other stats here your the bad number of battles you made and the victories you, you achieved in those battles the stars you won in the world war battles of course this this section is for the battles in tournaments this is for the campaign blue means number of missions completed in campaign yellow means missions complete with three stars and red is for 3 stars at hard difficulty. We also have a co-op skirmish in the game, which I haven't done actually any on this particular account. And here you have your skills. Now to get skills you will have to do tournament battles or buy some packs that contain skills. Skills don't have that much I mean, they, they don't have a very big deal on the battles, but they will surely improve your gameplay. There are a bunch of different stuff like infantry attack, vehicle attack, naval attack, air attack, buildings attack and HP, command points, which is basically your population space, your starting resources when you are starting a battle, your income, and the construction speed of your buildings. Um, every time you spend your skill points on something, the improvement cost will increase, so it gets harder and harder to improve. Here you have your workshop, where you will be upgrading your units. I will go over the units and the buildings in a different video, but this is where you do them. And here you have your battle section. Now in the world war, confederation and the resistance will be fighting over regions. For example, right now, there is a war for Colombia. And 
for each battle the your side has to get a specific amount of victories specific percentage of victories to be correct to gain a, to control that area here you have your best clans and best players that in this battle which contributed the most points and as a site gets more regions it will actually be harder to control other regions for example when the numbers are equal to each other you only need a victory rate higher than 50% to get a region but after you get that for the next one you'll have to get 52% which kind of keeps the balance between the two sides and why do we capture these regions because for example every region has a different thing of course this for example Brazil this region gives one credit to a clan per turn for every DP so as much as you give points in the battle more credits your plan will earn in every turn of course that the money that your clan earns will be distributed among the players so better your clan does in the battle and of course considering that you won the battle you will get extra credits in every turn here you also have your campaign which is a bunch of missions that you will have to get through open your units and buildings they will also give a good reward to upgrade them you will have a primary objective and a bunch of secondary objectives and you have to complete all of them to get a 3 star and there are two difficulties normal and hard um, there will be missions that will ask you to like finish 10 missions with 3 stars or finish 10 missions in the hard difficulty so you will have to do that at first you may not be able to finish them at hard because it's hard it will be hard um, and later on when you upgrade your units and have a better understanding of the game you can just come back and do them again and get the rest of your reward as well here we have our tournaments now the tournaments will be changing uh, there are a bunch of different tournaments and they are keep adding new ones uh, there are rewards of course in the tournament you have to do a bunch of battles with different objectives and try to get the most points get the rewards the rewards are you will get a medal that you can display in your profile skill points and you will also get skill points for every battle that you want in the tournament and also a little bit reward for your place and golden credits now golden credits are pretty valuable actually i will go over them too in the upgrades and boost video every tournament will have a duration and there are time certain battles they will they take place in every two hours and you have to be online for that and to join the battle you will, you will pay a little cost to join the battle and you will get reward if you win that's also the case for the world war where you have to pay a little cost which isn't usually a problem the game will allow you to go to negative credits if you run out of them and you will also get daily rewards so you can just do your battles without worrying about that and there are leaks in the tournaments actually there are three leaks at the moment which divides players by their levels here you can see that lower levels will be in league 3 the mid tier players will be in league 2 and the best players are in league 1 so you don't have to face like the best players in the game when you start off it will be much easier and here you have your co-op skirmish section here you will be teammates with another player against the computer the AI again like the tournament there will be a there will be different objectives here from time to time and you will also get rewards for your place usually you will have 
to do these missions with as less time as possible, as quickly as possible to get the rewards. Here you can see their stats, how the best players did. See the times are written here and the, as quickly as you can finish it, that's the best one. And that's pretty much it here. And we have your clan section, which I will go over in a different video. Now, when you join a clan, you will have a special chat room for your clan, and you will also have a clan influence, which, of course, I will go into detail later on. Here, you have your ratings. Here, you can see the best players. Uh, you can see how many stars they earned from it starts from the highest rank and going to the lowest one here you have the best scores in world wars best scores in the current turn of the world war for example in this war for the colombia this player has the highest points scored you also have rating for the tournaments skirmishes and the achievements you can see which player has the highest number of achievements. And here's a rank for the clans in the game, which is again the same thing, a general rating for the world war, for the current turn, and for the tournaments. In the next section we have our shop, where you can purchase currencies in the game, and boots, packs and premium and different avatars for your character. Here we have our credits, which I will go over in the next video, I think. We have our green credits and our golden credits. Now, as you can see here, the golden credit is the more valuable one. Here we have boots, which I will make an entire new video for. Because there are a lot of boots that you will use in your battles. I will go over them. And here you have your packs. I, the packs will offer you a lot of things actually, different things, which I will also go over in the boost video. And you have your premium. Now premium, as written here, will give you 50% extra to reward for your PvP victories. And plus 5 stars for your PvP battles, which you can disable if you want, because you may not want to increase your levels so quickly. and match with higher levels there are, you have a you have to pay a golden credit for a specific amount of days you want to get the premium and you have your avatars you have some free ones and some other ones that you can get for golden credits if you want to spend your golden credits then sure go ahead and buy them but it's not really critical i mean it will definitely not affect your gameplay that's for sure. But you have the money for it and you, you want to look cool, then just go ahead. You, you can also get different flags behind your character. We have flags for almost every country, a lot of countries. And here we have our settings menu. You can change the country that you want to show. You can select the language. Your graphic settings, which isn't there isn't a lot of settings actually. Shadows, clouds, and quality of the texture. You have your sound settings. You can do an FPS test, which I will show in the end of this video to give you a, uh, to show you the actually how the battles takes place. You can change your push message settings, which I like actually. I want to see them. So I just got them. Uh, there are also rewarded ads, which you can turn on or off. For example, you can you get free containers for watching a video, an advertisement, and you have you have a camera rotation in battles, which you can actually it says pretty much you can change the change the rotation of the camera, which you can turn on or off here and about section there are links to the community which you can access from here and there's a list of ranks 
Here you can see how many stars you have to get to reach the next rank. And it shows which tournament you will be joining, how much reward you can get at that level, and some bunch of other stuff. And you will have to get to a certain rank to open some regions in the campaign. So you can just go over all, you can do all your missions, but your rank might not be enough to open the next one. So there you will have to do PvP battles. And that's pretty much it for this video. Let's do this FPS test and show you how the battles takes place. Here we have on the sub our population units and on the bottom the resistance units or the rebel units. As you can see there are a lot of different units with different characteristics and advantages over the different units. I don't know what you think but this looks awesome to me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Victory.